Every day, Delhi's air quality flashes on screens and apps, numbers that decide whether it's safe to breathe, walk, or even step outside. But what if the very machines that tell us how polluted our air is aren't really working? Delhi has nearly 40 air quality monitoring stations spread across the city. They are meant to capture the air we breathe and warn us when pollution level rises. But in recent weeks, reports and court hearings have revealed that many of these monitors are non-functional, misplaced, hidden, or raising questions about how reliable our air quality data really is. Before we dive into the science behind Delhi's air monitors, please like this video and subscribe to Down to Earth, where we explain how environmental systems shape the world around us and how they sometimes fail too. Each air quality monitoring station is a small metal cabin packed with machines called analyzers. These analyzers continuously inhale city air, measure pollutants like PM2.5, nitrogen dioxide, and ozone, and send that data to central server. That's what eventually appears as the AQI number you see online or on roadside displays. In simple words, these stations act as Delhi's lungs and sensors quietly recording what we cannot see. To understand what makes a monitor truly accurate and reliable, we spoke to Mohan P. George, former DPCC scientist and now consultant at the Center for Science and Environment. There is guidelines for uh, sighting of these stations, which is very clear cut. There is a international guidelines, there is Central Pollution Control Board provided guidelines and basically if we talk the two basic requirements, first is where from you are collecting the air for analysis, the 270 degree funnel must be clear. When I say funnel is clear means no obstruction and USEPA and other agencies which specify you can install your monitoring station from 3 meter to 10 meter. If we actually understand this total process, first thing that analyzer generates the data, it collects it and it's sent to um, your server. Ab one position may be the analyzer is not functional. In that case also, all the parameter will not stop, sing it, PM2.5 is not generated or SO2 is not generated, CO is not generated, it is possible. And actually this type of station have the good uh, power backup. So if electricity is going for one hour or two hour, it is not uh, shut up. So we have to check first analyzer is working or not and second thing, if data is reaching to the your server or not, if it is coming to server then it is coming to public domain or not. I generally say ki public perception and scientific facts differ. In morning, you can't say it is fog or a mist or smoke. So, in principle, I always believe this data. But now comes the question, ki if they are showing the very low values or very high values, that we have to check. So, there are uh, so many parameters. First of all, we have to check actually when you observe the public perception, it depends on the instantaneous value. At this moment, it is very foggy. So, you say it is very polluted. Uh, smog is there and so you say very polluted. But maybe the data given is 24 hour average. So, value may be they showing the lower value. The reason why they are showing 6 hour or 8 hour or 24 hour average because it is a requirement of the standard. When you talk about the PM, it is standard, our Indian standard is 24 hour average. But same time for the ozone, 1 hour and 4 hour average is available. For CO, 4 hour average. So that thing we have to consider. It is so I say it is a public perception and scientific fact. First step for transparency is you give the unedited data to public because uh, 
um, any any data it's under public scrutiny that will be and other more technical thing which the organizations are have to do is rigorous calibration and uh, maintenance of the system calibration is a must these all systems installed by any organization most of the parameters they go for the daily check that's automated they go for the span check and all it's done then comes the calibration single point three point different calibration is there for different parameters and for that schedule is fixed some parameter is uh, some analyzers is calibrated uh, weekly some done on monthly basis a few they advise ki go for six months it's okay but in our condition where dust is very high there is a standard operating procedure given you have to strictly follow that. calibration they have to do it no doubt auto auto calibration is there but the single point double point and uh, three point calibration must be followed and there is no shortcut for it Delhi's air monitoring network was built to protect its citizens but that can only happen when every station works stays visible and tells the truth because knowing the air we breathe is the first step to cleaning it thank you for watching if you have any suggestions do write to us by commenting on the video